Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lands Challenge Runs in the Binding of Isaac. Today's run, Antichrist. No, there's not going to be a scene where Charlotte Gainsbourg cuts off Willem Dafoe's foreskin. Uh, this is a YouTube suggestion from YouTube user Total CT Gamer Show. Sorry, the Total CT Gamer Show. Just in case you wanted to check them out, I guess. I want to be fair here. Uh, what we have is a lot of cursed items, and there's kind of a side story here, a lore, if you will, that has been posited by the Total CT Gamer Show, which is basically like we're a version of Isaac now that has been created by Satan, and our only goal is to kill uh, Isaac himself in the cathedral. But we can go to the chest after we beat the cathedral, if we so choose. If we beat the cathedral, I suppose I should say. So what do we have? We have the Whore of Babylon, we have Brimstone, obviously. Uh, we have Lord of the Pit, and we have Spirit of the Night. I realize that's two flying items, but these were the ones suggested uh, by the user. And he had a good reason, you know, they're all kind of like cursed type items. What are the stipulations? Because these are obviously some pretty powerful items. We can't go to item rooms, but we can go. We can't pick up the item. Uh, we can't go to shops. And we can only take, originally the, the stated suggestion was, you can only take uh, HP upgrades from bosses. But I'm going to just change that to you can only take items from boss rooms. I realize that makes things a little bit more lenient, and it might seem a little easier. Uh, but, you know, there's got to be some way to, to amp up damage and, and other stats, like speed. Uh, like The thing is, health upgrades, cool, I mean, that, that's fine in its own right, but... Um, I don't think that would be enough to necessarily carry us through the game, because what if I don't get health upgrades, right? I mean, I, that's how Isaac works. In a nutshell, like, what if I don't get good items? Well, then you fucking lose, is what happens, but, uh... Uh, yeah, I've decided to tilt the odds slightly more in my favor, but not in my favor to the point where I think it's imbalanced. More in my favor to the point where I think it's a little bit more balanced. Because the only way that we're actually able to get extra items beyond boss rooms is going to be deals with the devil. Deals with the angel we have to uh, completely ignore. We're just going to leave that crate for now. Uh, and of course, in order to make good use of Horror of Babylon, I want to go to those deals with the devil in order to, uh, you know, possibly run permanently on spirit hearts. But you know, that's my story and I'm sticking to it for now. We have a deal with the devil. Uh, we're just gonna back out in here and see what he's got. I think we should re-roll this, because these are both garbage. In here, we have Guppy's Paw, which we're absolutely gonna take. Uh, and here's how I'm thinking this is gonna work. We're gonna back out here. We're gonna pop Guppy's Paw twice. We're gonna pick up stem cells. We're gonna pop that. Uh, and then we're gonna pick up the crate and take all of these items as well. Alright, so that was a very good first floor to say the least. Now Whore of Babylon is actually gonna work, we're gonna be rolling entirely on spirit hearts and we should be in a very good position. In fact, we can, since we have uh, Guppy's Paw, we can actually re-up uh, our spirit hearts whenever we get an HP upgrade, which is beautiful. So we're obviously in a much better position before than we used to be. And I didn't really break any rules there. The only rule I broke beyond the initial challenge run is that I took the crate, or the box, or whatever it's called, because I always forget. Um, so I feel like I'm still sticking to the conditions of the run and just instead got incredibly lucky because Guppy's Paw, beyond getting the nail, Guppy's Paw was basically like the best item we could have possibly gotten in that circumstance. So, we're moving forwards um, with me taking a lot of damage despite having uh, an incredible offensive advantage compared to the enemy. I'm just going to try to take these guys out as soon as possible. What do I need now? I mean, I have flying, brimstone, and high damage. Uh, I guess I am just going to be hoping for uh, compass and map somehow from a judgment. Oh no, we have to blow up judgments. That was the other condition of this run. You know, it doesn't feel like we're doing that much more damage, if any more damage, actually. Maybe Horror Babylon. Maybe I didn't give myself Horror Babylon by accident. In which case, that's fine too. Maybe that serves as a more uh, balancing factor. Although I do seem a little larger than I was before, unless I, I'm mistaken in that. And again, I took some terrible damage here. We'll see what we get. Hopefully, uh, HP upgrade. Ah, Cat of Nine Tails. Garbage, but we have to take it. And now that we can see our health, I'm feeling a little bit less confident about our possible chances on this run. But in any case, I like this run. I like any run that starts me with Brimstone. If only to see the comments, Herp der Brimstone, I'm out. I realize there's some people that have a, an unbelievable hatred for this item. Whatever, man. It's been a long time since we've used it, if I remember correctly. So I feel like no skin off my ass. 400 other challenge runs you can go well. 400 other runs you can go watch if you're a, a total brimstone hater. In any case, we're gonna be fighting pestilence here. Am I gonna pick up the cube of meat? I'll probably pick up the cube of meat. I don't feel like it impacts the run that much. If you please feel free to write me a, an angry letter if you feel like my taking a cube of meat is going to imbalance the game. I'm not trying to sound so antagonistic or confrontational with respect to the fans here. I'm just saying, you know ease up a little bit. These things obviously don't have too much of an impact on the overall game. Now, if it was Mom's Knife or something, I could understand. I'm very glad to be fighting Krampus right now. I wish we got more HP upgrades because I want to up my Spirit Hearts. The ability to get three Spirit Hearts per boss is obviously uh, 
something that would be very useful for me in the future if I can make that happen. In the meantime, though, uh, I believe Lump of Coal does work with Brimstone. So if we hit things from far away, it'll do more damage. Anything that allows me to stack my damage is fantastic in this given situation. A couple more hits and Krampus will be dead and we'll be good to go. It sucks getting rid of the D6 so early. Shit happens, though. So let's see what we've got in here. A pill. I don't want to... Well, actually, you know, we should take the pill. Let's see what we've got here. That's kind of what I... Did I manage to take a lump of coal first? I think I did. Um, let's see what we've got in this I am error room. It's mom's bra, obviously, which I don't want to take. Um, lots of bombs, pills, and money. I can never get an I am error room when I actually want one. Uh, but when I don't want one, they show up all the time, apparently. So, we will uh, continue moving onwards. We were not able to see where we're going here. But if I just hang out over the top of this chasm, I should be totally safe from the spiders. Which are actually a pretty big pain in the ass, although Brimstone is actually a fairly good method of killing spiders. You know, if you could do this in your own home, you would probably feel a lot better about the whole arachnid problem. Insects in general, really. Now, Demon Judgment we are going to ignore. I'm not, I can't remember if there's a stipulation about Demon Judgment. I don't think so. This is actually this challenge run happened because there was another challenge run suggested on the same video. It was called, like, Badass Tammy. And it basically was like, hey... Give yourself nine luck ups so that you get uh, all teeth with your uh, tough love shots. Give yourself Tammy's head. Give yourself basically every good tears item and then infinite item power Tammy's head and see how it works out. And I was so down for that run. I was like, that sounds like a lot of fun. I went through like the 20 minutes set up time necessary to set it up. Oh, why am I stuck here for some reason? Uh, and then I, I got, I was doing it. It was going very, very well. And then Isaac actually crashed. The first time I've ever had a hard crash playing The Binding of Isaac. Was, it was doing that run, and it lost like 15 minutes of, uh, of gameplay, unfortunately, which is really bad, because that was like almost at the end of the game. So instead, I was like, you know what, maybe that's just too much, like, it was just teeth filling the screen. It, it was a disaster from, the, like, a performance standpoint, but it was a lot of fun to watch. Ooh, that was bad damage on my part. Um, yeah, so that, that's the genesis of this, of this run, because that, that run was the top comment, this was number two comment. Let's see what we got here. Friends till the end? All right. So I decided, you know what, let's let's honor that memory by going with the number two comment instead. If that makes any sense at all. So we've got the weird uh, husk or carrion queen, I can never remember, that creates... Or is this blighted ovum? This has got to be blighted ovum. Uh, that creates masks of infamy. We are, we are going to get an HP upgrade here, plus a damage upgrade. So we'll use Guppy's Paw, juice yourselves up a little bit with respect to health. And it might be worth sticking with Guppy's Paw for the rest of the game. It's kind of up in the air. Uh, it depends what kind of items we get. It might have even been worth saving that red heart, to be honest with you. Even though it put us out of the Horror Babylon state, it might give us the chance to get a second HP upgrade, which would, of course, give us the option to take something from a deal with the devil, should we earn one here. But anyway, we're getting too much into, like, the hypotheticals. You should stick with the reality of the situation right now, which is I'm doing very well with respect to spirit hearts, well enough with respect to damage. Uh, we'll see how meat affects that once we get to these bosses, where it's a little bit easier to see how much damage you do. Uh, and it, my survivability should be very strong right now. Stranger things have happened. Uh, we're certainly not out of the woods yet with respect to, to winning this run. That's still uh, very much uh, something that remains to be seen. I was straight. Can you tell I was trying to avoid saying up in the air there? Miramax got on my case. Uh, sure, Samson's lock. That's fine to take for now. Uh, although we're going to be getting rid of it for the Polaroid very soon, and the Polaroid is going to be, obviously, uh, an awesome item for us, because it's going to give us permanent invincibility. So things are only going to get better for our cursed version of Isaac, uh, in the near future anyway. But, uh, as the game gets harder and harder, we're going to need these upgrades to make things work better and better for us. That is Sad Onion! That is probably the best thing we could have gotten right there, because that should make our rate of fire just increase immensely. Ah, eh, not really. It seems like it might have improved it a little bit, but that could just be... Uh, wishful thinking or, you know, confirmation bias or something. Um, but I think it has. Confirmation bias be damned. Logical fallacies abound. Uh, we are sadly just hitting a ton of dead ends here. I don't know how Sad Onion affects Brimstone. Someone should write up an article, even though I'll probably... Oh, god damn it. Uh, there we go. We survived. Uh, I'll, even though I'll never read it, someone should go into the... Do the research about, uh... How all of these weird items that normally affect tears, uh... Kind of synergize with Brimstone. We got a ton of money. If I could just come across a judgment, I'll, I have to blow judgment up. Always forget, and probably will forget if we come across judgment as well. But uh, the money's coming in fast and furious. The the bombs are also uh, pretty prevalent right now, which is fine by me, considering we're gonna need those to kill Mom's heart. Not need is a strong word. We're gonna want those to kill Mom's heart uh, as easily as possible. Our pill here is friends till the end again. 
Uh, and we do have this uh, Wheel of Fortune. I'm going to save it and probably blow it up the next time we, we find ourselves using a bomb. But first things first, we're going to have our... Ah, uh, you know what? Why don't we just put it down right here and then do that right there. There you go. Free red hearts that I couldn't possibly use in a million years. All right. Regular mom boss fight. Let us get this formality over with. This should be very, very easy. Um, not doing a killer amount of damage, but enough, certainly. Uh, and this Polaroid is going to be a big get for us, actually. As it will give us permanent invincibility. Well, not permanent invincibility. You know what I mean, though. I feel like that's that should be the title of this. Statement? Well, you know. Clarif clarifying statement. But you get the gist of it. So we're going to hopefully get uh, an HP upgrade from this boss fight, which will then translate into three spirit arts. Well, not just HP upgrade. There we go, the clarifying statement again. HP upgrade plus uh, some kind of effect. Stigmata would be like my ideal, but I don't think that's going to be possible. And you know, we're not doing incredible damage. This is a run that is very much still, um, you know, it has the potential to fail, basically. I think we're going to be okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, this boss fight's going to be easy enough, but um, I think we're going to be okay overall. We're going to get a tears upgrade. That's cool gonna come with the two of spades which is gonna give us 12 keys because I'm gonna get rid of it right away just to simplify things and we're gonna head down to the next floor feeling pretty good but not overly confident by any stretch of the imagination and it looks like we are gonna be suspect uh, to the pink glitch or just the XL okay so it has the potential to be awesome or the potential to be not so great but probably still not terrible uh, depending on when we find the boss room and we are getting pretty low I, I thank God I didn't take damage exactly the same way this time we're getting pretty low with respect to our health. I mean, we're still trucking along with, what, like 10 spirit hearts here. Uh, but that's presumably, or, or possibly, those could be our last spirit hearts for the remainder of the game, which is almost certainly not going to be enough. So we're going to need more spirit hearts, uh, or we're going to need more HP upgrades to kind of juice up our spirit hearts by way of uh, Guppy's Paw as we move forwards. Again, if we can just make it to the chest, we can get an HP upgrade here, actually. If we can just make it to the chest, anything could happen. Because we're going to get four items there, obviously, and this should be a very easy thing for us. Uh, Gluttony, just hook me up here, man. He's dying very quickly, actually. He's just going to give us red hearts, which is not what I wanted, unfortunately. And it looks like we are going to be doing a fair amount of traveling on this floor. Although, if I find the boss room early enough, uh, that, that's going to save us a lot of trouble and possibly a lot of spirit heart loss. I don't know if we're going the, the right way here, but I'm going to assume that we are, just because I I'm tend to be a wishful thinker, you know? These guys are going to split off and go in opposite directions, which is a little weird to me, but that's okay. If you've ever seen a horror movie, we all knew how that was going to end up for them. I said horror movie, not horror movie. That's actually one of the most traumatic experiences I had as a child. I was playing, like, Magic Gathering with my uncle. I was probably, like, nine, and uh, I had this card that was horror. And I was like, Uncle Tony, what's a whore? And then everyone laughed about it. Who's laughing now, motherfuckers? Who's laughing now? I just got paid like 14 cents to regale you with that story. Uh, I guess we're all laughing now. Hopefully you're laughing. Otherwise, I'm not doing my job very well right now. Let's hide over here over this rock. I wonder how many... If you did a montage of Northern Lions embarrassing stories told during the Binding of Isaac episodes, I wonder how long it would stretch. It would probably be like a, a cautionary tale of a life not well lived. So we have the stars card now. Uh, we're gonna play this at some point. People keep giving me indications of how to remember stars and moon and keep them differentiated. I think one of them might actually stick. Someone was saying, hey, stars are yellow, and so is the item room. There you go. That's an easy one. But then I got to thinking. I was like, well, stars aren't really yellow. It's just the way the light is refracted through our atmosphere that causes that to, illusion to take place. And now I'm thinking, like, Northern Line, just shut up, brain. Just take the man's advice at face value. It might actually do you some good anyway. We have, like, very much tracked or trekked into the wrong direction here which is not good for us moving forwards but we didn't actually lose any spirit hearts along the way i think we picked up some bombs and keys so you know not really enormous gains but uh certainly you know no skin off my ass that we had to take that much time we are only 14 and a half minutes into the video and we're on utero one and two at the same time so i uh, can't really complain about the, the timeline of this episode so far with the damage that we're dealing and the only reason that the damage that i'm dealing probably seems fairly bad right now is because i was doing that badass tammy run uh and i was like one-shotting bosses like here's the thing i had freezing effects on my tears but i didn't even realize it ah, we don't want that i didn't even realize that we had freezing effects on our tears because tammy's head shots were so powerful that they were dying in one hit so i couldn't even see like bosses were dying in one hit so I couldn't see that the freeze effect was actually working. 
So that should give you some semblance uh, of how powerful that run was during the brief time when, when it was alive. Sadly, that footage will never be seen because uh, Isaac crashed and Camtasia soon followed. Two very reliable pieces of software. Telepills. Yeah, sure, why not? Sure, it took us to the secret room, uh, which saved me, like, literally one room of backtracking. I almost didn't want to kill that green guy. I, like, I had the, the bullet to his head. Or the gun to his head, I should say. Not the bullet to his head. That wouldn't... I just, clearly, I'm a gun nut. <laughs> uh, but then he killed one of the gluttonies, and I was like, Oh, man, I can't be mad at him. He's helping me out. This is presumably... And it, if, if there is a merciful, benevolent force in the universe, this will be the longest floor we have to deal with. Uh, because we've got to find our way to a double boss room. I don't even know if the cathedral could possibly be as long as this. Maybe if you got Curse of the Lost, which would be annoying as hell in this situation. Uh, but, you know, fingers crossed that won't happen. Golden key, probably useless, but a nice gesture nonetheless. The Diglets aren't going to stand a chance. This is pretty much the worst possible situation for them to be in. Uh, and with two guts... Oh, I almost got tagged there. That would have been pretty horrible. I don't know how the pathing on those guys works, which is why I get confused sometimes. And we still haven't taken damage in a while. You know... I remembered we're not supposed to play Judgment, that's why I just dipset it there. Uh, without putting myself in a position where I could have reasonably taken uh, some understandable criticism, shall we say. Alright, those guys are dead. We are taking a fucking marathon trip here. We've got to be almost there. Do we know what this does yet? Bad trip, fantastic. Well, we got invincibility for a second on a room with no enemies in it, so that was definitely worthwhile. Uh, where is this fucking boss room? This is like our 40th room down here. There we go, finally! We're gonna be fighting our bosses. Now, hopefully this one... Yeah, double Loki all the way across the sky. Could be easier, could be harder. Uh, couldn't be much easier. Skolex would be easier in this situation, because we can, uh... Just, uh... Shoot all the way through his body. We don't have to, like, aim at any specific part of him, because, uh... We have basically piercing shots, or the equivalent of piercing shots. We'll take our speed upgrade. Move on here to this next boss fight, which is obviously going to be Mom's Heart, which means do that, and then we'll start dropping bombs in here. And bombs plus brimstone should be enough to take out. I mean, it's it's weird. I, I much prefer having Mom's Knife in a situation like this because it's, it's more high damage, which is better uh, against these bosses that come out. But you got to do what you got to do. And here we've got to use uh, brimstone to do the dirty work for us. I mean, each one of these bombs is only taking off like 5% of Mom's Heart's total health. But, uh, you know, that, that's 5% that's that we could be missing if we didn't have it. And uh, I kind of botched that one right there. But, as time goes on, uh, I think we're going to find ourselves permanent bomb state fairly soon. And I will still have some bombs left over, which is great. Uh, because I'll be able to use those potentially against Blue Baby or Isaac. Which is going to be something that might be uh, of in incredibly beneficial importance. Because my brimstone shots are not going to do very much damage. Keep in mind, Mom's heart... It's a fairly low HP boss. I mean, it's not super low HP, but it's certainly it's not like an Isaac or a Blue Baby. So, um, the fact that we took so long to... Wow, that is very lucky. We're just right at the boss room here. And the pill is... Thank God, not telepills. It's like, hey, let's fight the boss. Put my money where my mouth is. We're going to drop bombs against him uh, every time we get hit. But hopefully, we don't get hit that often because we do have Brimstone. And Brimstone's going to take like 50 shots uh, in order to kill the enemy here. I almost welcome being hit so I can run up and drop some bombs. I mean, I guess I could run up and drop bombs regardless, but then it's going to be a self-fulfilling prophecy, because at that point I'm going to get hit. So I'm just, I'm going to try, there we go. Now I've got an excuse. And of course, stand right next to him as well, make sure Cuba Meat has a chance to get some damage in there. Uh, that didn't speed things up too, too much, but it did speed things up enough, shall we say. So we're just going to continue dodging these purple shots. These are going to be marathons, not sprints. And it looks like we've got a very good chance to get down to the chest, which is great for us. Because, uh, an extra four items down there could potentially make a big difference. Uh, you know, especially if there's a lot of HP upgrades just contained in those chests. I'm not sure. Sometimes you can get things like, like, uh, raw liver or, uh, lard in those chest, golden chests. Which would actually be very beneficial for us right now in conjunction with Guppy's Paw. All we've probably got to do is get to Blue Baby with a reasonable amount of health and, and we'll be able to succeed, but I guess you could say that pretty much every time you play The Binding of Isaac. Just get to the final boss with enough health to not die and you won't die. Obvious. Strategy is obvious. Is that still a meme? Long cat is long? I don't know, man. In internet terms, I'm ancient. Old, maybe, not ancient. 
He's gonna keep this up. One more hit is gonna land. And what? One more hit is gonna land. That'll do it. Ah, we took another unfortunate hit there, but still, six spirit arts might give us a chance down here in the chest with 17 keys. Alright, this is big. What do we got? Peeper's Eye. Not bad. Uh, Celtic Cross. Not horrible. Poison Bombs. Could be beneficial. And, uh, Lifesteal. Garbage. So we have three okay items, I would say. Uh, and Lifesteal, which won't give us any benefit whatsoever. Uh, who knows how this is gonna work out, basically. This could go one of many different ways. Uh, I'm not really worried about trying to kill one of these guys first, because whatever upgrades they give me, or whatever consumables they give me, I already have enough of, of everything. I really do not need, uh, hearts, though. So I guess killing Gluttony first was a smart idea. Either bombs or money. I mean, the money is gonna be worthless as well. I guess I should kill, uh, Wrath last, which is exactly how that shit went down. Two free bombs and an extra one just for show as well. With five health, it, here's the, the game I'm gonna play as we get further and further along here. With five health, is it gonna be possible for me to beat Blue Baby? Yes. We only get into impossibility when we get down into like that three range. So I'm gonna just hope to not take damage as we move throughout the uh, chest sphere here. There we go, we got a pill. The pill is Bad Trip, which I don't know how that works with Spirit Arts. I should know how that works with Spirit Arts, given uh, my amount of time in the game. And really, my strategy here should just be A, avoid these diagonal shots, which I almost did not do there. Uh, but B, immediately. Oh, that's so terrible. Immediately go to town uh, whenever one of them creates a bomb fly to speed things up. Unfortunately, I did end up taking some damage there, because apparently I can't run the matrixes in my head to figure out when to dodge. It's okay, though, they are both dead now. Four hearts, we're getting close to the wire. But, if we get a spirit art here, unfortunately, I already lost a spirit art here, so. Oh! Almost lost two, now have lost two. Well, at least we technically only lost one, but still, that's pretty bad. And we've reached a dead end, which may actually be a, a blessing in disguise in this situation. Because, of course, uh, we're gonna have more rooms to possibly get more upgrades. We're gonna have more rooms to possibly die as well, or lose health at the very least. Uh, but we were probably gonna die regardless at this level. Uh, so there's always the chance that these could actually be uh, blessings in disguise. The fact that we have to go through some extra rooms uh, before finishing off here. So we're gonna kill Gluttony last. We definitely should have killed him first because the red hearts that he's gonna drop are not worth anything. But, you know, at some point there's no difference between, you know, 20 bombs, 21 bombs. We get Sister Maggie, you know, that's a solid upgrade to get. I, I would really, just like a single HP upgrade, would increase my chances of success so much. We'd be at six spirit hearts by way of Guppy's Paw. And there's our boss. Oh, that was the worst damage. I never should have taken that. They were moving so slowly. Uh, we got a shit ton of flies here just randomly created. Oh, now we're down to one heart. We're in a very... Oh, and a spirit heart appears. Well, thanks to that spirit heart, I think we have a small chance. After I get hit once, I might as well use bad trip, right? Like, that's the way that, that should go down. Uh, I popped it. It did absolutely nothing. Maybe because I was already hurt. Or I was already invincible, I should say. So one more hit's gonna kill us. A valiant effort, though, nonetheless, I would say. Um, thanks a lot to the Total CT Gamer Show for that suggestion. That was, uh, that was a good suggestion. I had a lot of fun with it. High risk, high reward, uh, and a lot of... It was a high-flying, action-packed thrill ride, is the way I would describe that to investors. But in any case, thank you guys for watching. Continue suggesting for and voting for challenge runs, and I will do the ones that I deem most apparent or fan favorite. In any case, again, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.